welcome back my loves i am so happy to a be filming a video b be filming a video on this bag in particular it's been highly requested um this is the multi pochette accessoire in the empreinte leather um but i'm i've also been so sick for the last few weeks um i don't know if this is something that's been going around i notoriously have really bad allergies and it's just been worse since i moved to tennessee um and i've been just so sick coughing congested like gross all around so i actually lost my voice for about a week um and finally on antibiotics um this is actually my second round so i'm <laughs> happy that i can actually like be talking to you guys i feel like i've been mia on instagram just posting photos and stuff so i missed you guys so much but I'm so excited to review this baby with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna be covering um, an overview of the bag, the background as to why I chose this bag, what other bags I was considering, um, and history of like, you know, did I try it on beforehand, um, all of that. And then I'm also gonna cover different ways that I wear it, different ways that you can wear it, um, functionality, how I wear it, and then what fits. And then I'm also going to include, obviously, mod shots. And I also asked you guys on Instagram to send me your questions. So I'm going to be answering those at the end. So I'm so excited. And if you're interested in hearing more about my thoughts on this bag and basically a very detailed review of it, stay tuned for the video. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night like I'm leaving all the bad stuff. Trying to remain strong. I know it's good. Okay, so to start off, first of all, <laughs> I'm getting comfortable. Usually I'm always like wearing sweats on here with you guys, so uh, don't mind me actually wearing a different type of outfit. This is actually from the Zara like comfort collection, I believe. Um, it's coming off really green, which I've been really feeling this color this season. I feel like it's a very much of the moment, very Bottega-esque. Um, and then I'm wearing my Zara jeans. Um, I will link anything if it's still available uh, for you guys, but I'm excited. Okay, so let's get started. I have here the multi uh accessoire in the Empreinte leather. I'm gonna try to get up close for you guys. Um, and this is in the bi-color uh, version. So it comes in a few different options. The original came with the monogram canvas with the Vichetta accents, and then the strap was a canvas, you know, the very regular multi pochette jacquard um, strap. And then it came with a skinnier, more dainty chain. The leather versions come with an adjustable leather snap, um, like almost like a top handle shoulder strap um, that is removable. And they also come with a braided leather and metal chain. And I have lots of thoughts about this. Um, and then the colorways that it comes in is all black. Um, so it's very similar in that it's black, but instead of the cream color on the um, LV pieces, it's actually just all black. And then it also comes in all cream. And then it comes in this version, which is the, the black and white version. Um, I... Definitely want to talk to you guys about like why this bag and why this color so I have been for the last year going back and forth about Potentially getting the Prada re-edition in the black nylon with the strap now The reason why I cannot pull the trigger is because whenever I see it in person or whenever I'm like right about to buy it, my husband's like, you're spending that much on a nylon bag. It's not leather. And I'm like, well, you know, the other option that I've been looking at is the multi pochette and I've always been drawn to it. And I originally wanted it in the black. Um, I liked the, I, I'm a huge fan of Louis Vuitton on print leather. I think it is so hard wearing. It looks elegant. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, but I already have, quite a few bags that are in the all black Ampreon. So I felt it was very redundant, but doesn't mean that you can't have that many black bags. I think that it's great, but I had seen the bi-color line when it came out and I thought it was stunning. And so I had considered a, a few different bags in the bi-color um, way 
and they were the petite sack plot um there was the smaller on the go and then uh the favorite the new favorite which is like almost like that dumpling bag with the metal closure and this one so i had actually originally thought i was gonna get the petite sack plot which i love my mother-in-law has it and it's just for what i was looking for that bag and that colorway to accomplish it was just a little too small for my needs and I already knew that I wanted something that was very functional that I could um, wear very many different ways and this size bag um, with the different compartments and the different functionalities of the straps and chains is more what I was leaning towards so I figured if I'm gonna buy another bag and I know I want it in a black bicolor way why not go with the bag that I've had my eye on for so long so now going back to the Prada re-edition the Prada re-edition is around 16.90 now um and it's an all nylon bag i still love that bag and i'm still considering it but for my needs and for what i usually wear daily um which is like more gold uh, but i do love the silver um hardware aspect of the prada edition. i feel like it's much more dressed down i felt like for that almost 1700 dollars price point I could bump it up a little bit and get a bag that I already knew that I liked that had tons of functionality with straps and um, was all leather and one of my favorite brands, which is Louis Vuitton. Now, this bag is very similar to me and what swayed me to get it is that I have the Pochette Accessoire um, regular in the canvas. Now, I wear this bag so much. It actually comes with a leather strap um, and I actually added this extra luggage clip to this side. This is from Organize My Bag. I will link it below for you guys. I also have a discount code. I have a couple Organize My Bag straps that I'll be talking about today that I use all the time. Um, so it makes it easy to take the leather strap on and off. I usually wear the leather strap when I want it more dressed down, but I also have um, the metal skinnier daintier gold chain that I will swap out and used to carry this bag on a night out now this bag even though it is small in like stature i would say it holds so much it holds my sunglasses my wallet um my wallets my wallet and my husband's wallet my keys um my phone and it's just i think it's just the way it's shaped and the way it's a top zip that it fits so much and it's quite deceiving um in it's like depth and height and I just love this bag. Um, I did buy this one when it was around 700. I know it's gone up a considerable amount, but I do. People ask me all the time, do I think it's worth it? I think that if I lost this bag today, I would rebuy it at the full price tomorrow. And that's just something that I know now, now that I've owned it and that I've used it so much that it's definitely like price per wear. It's definitely gotten it. So I do like that. And so when I was looking at adding a black version of this and i was looking at the buy color there's a few different options right there is the um like the dual pocket or dual pochette option on louis vuitton's website in the buy color but i knew that if i'm not getting the prada edition i wanted something that i could potentially wear over the shoulder and add different straps to to get that dress down look so i've made many reels on this um most notably the one where i change into three different outfits if i can i will just like stick it right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but this is the kind of bag that i can wear with sweats um with black biker shorts and a black sweatshirt um but you could also wear it with an oversized blazer or a jacket and jeans and also wear it um dressed up on the night out so this way right here is the most uncommon way that i wear it um, I don't particularly need all of this stuff hanging off, um, but depending on what I'm bringing with me that day and how I plan on wearing it and what I'm wearing, I will either keep this strap, this strap, or change it out for one of my other daintier straps. Now, I really liked um, on the original multi pochette that they had a gold strap like this, um, gold chain that came with the bag. Um, I do really love this um, more dressy leather strap chain option. I like the length of it and I'm happy it came with the bag because it serves so many purposes for me. But 
that's why I love interchangeable options because I can add um, more chain straps as I please. So I have another shoulder strap. This is also from Organize My Bag. They just know exactly the length to um, sell for this option and it fits perfectly on me and I will definitely try all of these options on for you at the end of the video so you can see what it looks like on me. Um, and then <clears throat> I also already have a, I call it the seatbelt strap. I already have one of these that came on an old mango bag. You can get these anywhere. They sell them on Amazon. They sell them on Etsy. You, if you have an old bag, um, if you have a Louis Vuitton bag, like the Kusan, you could just switch to this type of strap from that bag. But this allows me to really satisfy that Prada re-edition look, but with my Louis Vuitton multi pochette So I, that's just kind of like how I got to the decision to get this bag. Now this bag retails right now, let me pull it up. This bag retails for $29.80. Okay, and that is a lot. Um, I believe that when I first started considering the multi pochette accessoire in the on ground leather, it was around like $2,400 for the all black version, something around there. Um, and then they did a recent price increase to the $2,980 for this version. Usually the special um, colorways are a little bit more. The all black version is $2,840, which is still a lot, not that much of a difference there. So I ended up, since I had already tried this um, option in store a ton, um, just like back in the day when I was considering the favorite, I think that was like last year, um, which I did like the favorite, but it didn't have enough space for me, which you would think is a little bit wider than this, but this actually holds a lot. I'll show you in a second. Um, I ended up looking on Fashion File just because it's pretty normal to find the Louis Vuitton leather bags um, in brand new condition for a little bit less on fashion file. So I figured if I could find like enough of a deal, I would just buy it from there. If it was not that much of a price difference and I would just buy it from Louis Vuitton, but I wanted to, and because the price increase had just happened, I really didn't want to have to spend that extra few hundred when they were still on fashion files website, brand new condition for the older price, which was around, I think I paid 26 or 25.90 for it. Um, so I saved about, you know, three to $400 with tax. So to me, that was a good deal. And what I liked was, um, if I don't end up using all of these different compartments, uh, you can always sell them separately. So you can always, you know, if I'm not using the smaller one, sell it. Um, but I just love the idea that if I needed a small little bag for the night, I could take this off and add a little chain to it. If I wanted a big, a bigger, just like crossbody bag with a leather strap, I can just use this one for the day. If I need a little bit more and want to wear it, um, with a chain hanging off, I can wear it this way. So there's a ton of different ways to wear this bag. So I also wanted to show you quickly because I did not know this until I bought the bag that... I always thought, and I'm going to unclip this actually so we can look at it a little bit better. I actually thought that this was the same size as this. And this is the new model, right? Um, it is not. The leather version is actually bigger. Um, and I don't know how to best show this to you guys. It is, it's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. And I just really liked that I figured that out. <laughs> so it's just like maybe an inch bigger on the side, half an inch bigger on the top. Um, and then width wise, I think it was, it's pretty average. It may be a little bit bigger, but that's great because I tend to carry the style bag the most. Um, it's the easiest bag to travel with because I actually brought these most recently on a trip with me. Um, I brought it with the um, different chains and the leather and I just brought um, these two and they fit really nicely in another bag that I'm traveling with and that way I have two options for bags for the day and for the night um, and then the other bag that I ended up bringing on the trip for the daytime that if I needed something bigger is my new bum bag in the monogram canvas and I did 
bring it out here for a reason because I have all my daily stuff in here. So I wanted to make sure that I grab that out of there. So let's go ahead and see what fits. Um, I'm not going to do a side by side comparison of this right now. I can if you guys want, but um, I wanted to focus on this. So I'm going to put this down. Okay, so let's see what fits in the bigger compartment. I'm actually gonna take these, the chain off. <clears throat> so what I usually bring in the larger compartment bag is my sunglasses. Now this is a Saint Laurent case. This is the full case and voila, fits perfectly in there. Um, I also have my wallet i don't tend to put it in this one i'll probably just put my phone in there and let's see if i can get this in nicely um and it fits my full case now i don't always bring my actual case i will put it in a, like a sleeve like this um for just like saving space cases are just so cumbersome so it's just great to know that a full-size case fits in here i don't have to think about it i don't have to know if i brought my extra sleeve it just fits in here perfectly and that fits without any distortion into my larger pouch now in the smaller pouch it you guys had asked on my question so i'll tackle it now is if it's the same size as a mini pochette no it is much bigger than a mini pochette you can fit the mini pochette in here so let's go ahead and do that um, and then my mini pochette, what do I have in here right now? I just have some lip liner and lip gloss in here. And I mean, it should fit in here. I may have spoken too soon. I mean, you really would never actually put a mini pochette in here, but you could if you needed to. Um, Okay, I'm probably not gonna zip it all the way, but yes, it does fit in here. Um, what I tend to do is, if I'm gonna carry both together, I will put my wallet and my keys in the smaller um, pochette. Now, my wallet that I have with me is the, my favorite one, is the business card holder from Louis Vuitton in the black Empreon. This is my favorite wallet. It is much more slender than the Chanel card holder and it fits a ton um, and I can put that in here there are no pockets in this one so it's just like the uh, microfiber lining which is a beautiful like dark deep red like almost a like a wine color stunning um, and then I'll bring my keys which I don't have on me but you have a ton of space in here um, you can also put like lipsticks in here hand sanitizer if you wanted to put like a separate compartment so what I tend to do is like the stuff that I need to grab a ton of like more of more often I'll put in the front pocket so that is so cute and then what I can do is if I just wanted to use this instead as my little mini bag I just add a little chain to it and voila that is just the first little compartment now I can fit all of my essentials in the big pocket, um, no problem whatsoever. Um, so let's take my sunglasses out. There is a, and I have like my little pieces in here, like I'm saying this was brand new, it came with everything in there. Um, the iPhone 12 Pro, so I have the iPhone 12 Pro, a regular case. It actually fits in a, there's a pocket in here. It fits in the pocket perfectly. So it actually like has its own little compartment in there. And then I can fit, um, let's take my sunglasses out of the case. And oh my God, you guys love these sunglasses. I have to try them on for you in a second. I did a video on these recently. I guess these blew up and sold out. These are the Saint Laurent New Wave. Um, and then I put them in the little sleeve, my wallet. And that's really all I need to bring with me. My keys fit in there as well. I don't have them on me. They're somewhere. I think my husband actually has them. Um, and that all fits in the large compartment. And then you could always bring like little toiletries and stuff in the other pocket if you want to bring it with you. But if not, there you go. Now, 
If you are trying to dress it up and just want a comfortable strap, the braided leather one is so nice. It sits so well. It has an elegant look to it. And it's a great alternative for like, instead of bringing a Chanel out, I love the braided strap. And it just, it's just a stunning option for the bag. So this has all my essentials in there. Um, and then when I really wanna dress it down, I will take this off and I will add my canvas style strap on here. And this is just great for traveling too because I like to carry my bum bags when I travel, but this is a great option too because you can tighten it and have it sit as close to your body as you need. Um, and then you can add on the mini, oops, I put it on backwards, bear with me. And you guys know me, I love options. Like I love to be able to change out straps. Um, and so you can add that. And then I kept my organized my bag chain on here, which I love. Um, and what I tend to do is just keep the chains in the bag. They don't take up a lot of space. And then while I can tighten it and have it sit like a Prada re-edition would. So that is what fits in these. Um, oh, and then I did want to show you too, cause this is important. The iPhone 12 fits very easily into the um, the mini bag. I think you could probably fit a max in there as well. It There's about, if I put it in here, there's about another like inch and a half in there for a bigger phone. Um, so that's great to know that you can fit your phone and essentials into both options. Um, I actually <laughs> always think about this, but my husband asks me to carry his phone or keys or wallet pretty often. So it's great that I know that if I am gonna be going out with him, that if I bring a bigger bag, um, the bigger option, I can always fit it in there if I bring both, not even a thought. Um, so that is what I carry in here and the different strap, shop, strap options. So um, I will definitely try them all on for you. You can see where they all sit on me. And then I did get a ton of questions about this strap. I love this one the most as a shoulder strap, but it's just so nice to be able to just snap it when you're at like do running errands if you just want it to not be on your shoulder and out of the way and just quickly snap it into place and have it be a awesome crossbody and i have a short torso so this sits really really well on me and i do like bags to hit a little bit higher on my body so when i wear any sweaters or coats or anything that adds bulk it sits really really well so that's so easy switching that on and off. Um, and so let's get to trying on. Okay, so I think this is an easier way to do it. Um, I will try on the bag with all of the different options and different ways that I wear it. So this is just how it comes. This has the leather strap on the first of two ways that you can wear it. So this can only be adjusted twice. And this is a very comfortable shoulder strap drop for me and this has the rope chain accent on there so it hits right at like my hip i would say and it's a super super comfortable um height for me and then i will also just like carry it in the crook of my arm and then you can always carry it in your hand so that is the regular strap length um i don't tend to wear both the rope chain and the leather strap i just think it's a little too much for me um, but i like both options separately so i'm going to unclip this right now Let's see if i can do it with one hand probably not okay we are back it is unclipped and this is the longest setting that the leather strap goes on so this is where it hits me it's a perfect crossbody length on me and like i said i wouldn't have this on there but 
that's just how it sits. And I love that it's just like not super bulky or anything. It just kind of like comes out a little bit. It's a very average size bag width. And then on the shoulder, it sits right here. So I hate when a lot of my bags that I used to have, like my Gucci Marmont bag would hit so low with the chain. But I think this is a great length for a shoulder bag crossbody leather strap. So that is where it sits um, put it on this. This side, so you guys can see the sun hitting it a little bit better. And that is the leather strap. So next up, I'm going to just use the rope chains. Let me take the leather strap off. Okay, so this is both pouches on with just the rope chain strap option and i love this strap option because it's actually a nice very long drop it is my longest strap drop that i have of any of my like chains so i think it fits really well in my collection that i can actually interchange this with other bags that i have most the one that comes to mind is my capucines. I think that my mini capucines would look so cute with this strap on there. But I think it's a great length for easy on the go, but it's also a little bit dressy. So that is the rope option and both pouches on there. So I'm gonna take these apart and then add in different strap, strap options um, individually and try them on for you guys. Okay, so this is the strap option from, this one is the shoulder one from Organize My Bag. I have a different, few different, um, I think they come in like the Rolo one and then this is the other one. Um, I love both, I have both. And this is probably my most common night out option. It is how I almost always wear my Pusha Accessoire version, but it is the gold, just the dainty gold strap on the large pochette. Um, so on the larger option of both pouches and it's just easy. I think it looks cute. And, um, if I want to just have more of like a minimalistic chain option, it's still dressy, but it is easy and cute. So that is my most worn option. I would say, um, especially when I'm not carrying both pouches. So that is one option. I also wanted to show you guys how cute it is to have the mini one with just the leather strap on it. So this is what it looks like on. And it's just a cute option for having a more dressed down but mini bag um, look. And I just love this adjustable strap on the mini one. So... In favor of a almost like a Prada re-edition look, this is my black, just generic canvas uh, strap that's adjustable with the large pochette and the dainty Organize My Bag chain. And I just think this is a very dressed down look. Um, you can just obviously adjust this as um, tight as you want and where you want it to sit on your body. But I feel like this gives me that Prada re-edition look with this version of the bag. And then what's nice is, let me switch it to the other side so you guys can see better, is that it's just a really comfortable shoulder bag and it has a nice chain detailing that is reminiscent of the canvas style, but with the black leather. And I actually really love the thicker strap with both pouches um, on it. And I think it just gives it a cute look, but we're all about versatility, so it's great that we can have this option on just the larger one, and it's just so cute. Okay, so this is the long strap with just the dainty chain on there and the large pouch. Just to show you guys like a very easy crossbody little pouch moment. Um, this is probably the easiest way to wear it when you have the bag on your shoulder and you just wanna quickly have it not slide off and you're just like doing something you want it out of your, off your shoulder and just kind of like sitting on your body. Just unclip it, really easy. You have your strap option that if you need to go day to night, you can always change it to the chain. 
Um, but super easy bag to style a b wear and c to find different like functionality versions versatility um to wear it so um unfortunately i'm not going to change into any different outfits for you guys today but stay tuned on my instagram because i try to post my outfits of the day every day and what bag i'm wearing and so you can see how versatile that this bag is on there but overall really cute you guys know i'm a very functionality and versatility heavy girly it's very important to me to get as much use out of all my bags as possible and so hopefully this was helpful for you guys okay so let's do a quick q a um i want to answer your questions that you guys sent me if i already answered them um through the video i probably just won't uh answer it again just for interest of time don't want to bore you guys so um let's see how much does this fit compared to your tiny backpack okay so i actually ended up selling my tiny backpack i loved that bag but whenever i was like looking to grab it i always ended up grabbing my palm springs mini or my black bum bag so it actually, I would say it's probably fits comparably the same amount if you looked at it, but this actually fits more than my tiny backpack. So great question. Um, do I worry about wear or chipping on the cream color? So I actually did worry about that when I was considering it and I just didn't want it to deter me from getting the colorway that I was drawn to. Um, I've had a couple marks on there, but honestly, I just like rubbed them right off and they came right off. So, um, this is going to be more of a longevity question as to like, will it rub off on any of my clothes? Does, is there any peeling? So I will keep you guys posted on that. So far, no worries on the cream color on the LV. Okay. So the, uh, next question is, is it easy to get into either purse? Yes. I will say super easy. Anything that's a top zip for me, I find to be a winner. Um, super, super easy. And if I'm like gonna be in and out, in and out, I just leave a zipper open, but it's not difficult at all. The zipper quality is phenomenal. Um, if you have any issues with your zipper, always um, bring it to Louis Vuitton. Or they'll just put like wax on it. Um, if you have like a wax stick, like it comes with like your Yeti coolers, if you have the zip up ones. You can actually just like rub it on there and it helps with just lubricating the zipper, but super, super easy to get in and out of. Um, do I find myself reaching for this bag a lot? So yes, I will say though, um, right now I'm wearing it more as like, if I'm wearing, if it matches my outfit and it's more of like sporty and or a nighttime outfit, this is the bag that I reach for the most. I plan on this being a really good travel bag for me. Um, I will say my Pache accessoire in this bag and my bum bags are my most used bags. So, you know, it doesn't always matter about like the color. It's always like what I'm wearing and how it matches and the mood I'm in and like how much I need to carry. So I do reach for this bag a ton. So is it worth the price? So I will say it is a little steep for what the bag is and what we're used to from this style bag. But when I was comparing it to Prada, which was a nylon bag, 1700 for about a thousand dollars, you were getting multiple um, straps with it and you were getting multiple ways to wear the bag in different pouches and it's all leather. So I felt like it was a fair price, but I will highly, highly caution you um, when a bag just goes up in price and it's for not for no reason, but like when they raise their price, go right away. If you're interested at all, go to the pre loved market and find it in brand new condition for the old price and buy it from there because your bag will already have appreciated in value. And the new, like the new base price is what it costs now. So you can always find bags at a lower cost. Um, and if it's not the most popular bag, which I don't think this is the most popular bag, I would say go on fashion file or season two consign or anywhere that's a pre-loved store and try to find it and save a few hundred dollars. I think it's totally worth it as long as it's in great condition. Um, 
how heavy does it get? It does not get very heavy at all. I do feel like on my with my on the go, it's a lot of leather in a big bag. That definitely gets heavy. This, not so much. I would not even think twice about it. Um, versatility, yes. Very versatile bag. You know I'm all about versatility, getting the most out of my bags and um, just getting as much wear out of them as possible and the ability to interchange straps, chains, all that is super important to me. I always consider that when I'm purchasing a bag. Um, oh, how do I feel about the other colors? Um, I love the other colors. So I remember when this came out, it came out in the cream color and the black color first, right? Um, the canvas color, I I love the canvas color. I don't like the straps that you only have pink and green to choose from just because I would not use either of them I feel. Um, I guess if I had to pick one I would pick the green just because it would get it would not get dirty as quickly. Um, but I already had the Pachasa Square so I don't need multiple of the same kind of canvas type bags. So the black I love, the cream I love, and this one I love. The cream is stunning but for the amount that I use this this type of bag and I plan on using it, I was just too concerned with color transfer. I already have the Kusan in the cream color and like that one already gives me anxiety. So do not need multiple, but I, if like color transfer was never an issue, the cream would have been like A plus for spring and summer. But I kind of get both with this, which I like, like I can, wear it with creams and then I can wear it with blacks and it's a little dressy but it's a little bit casual. It's a little bit louder than any of my other bags because I don't have anything that like has the bright logos on it besides just the regular canvas. So I liked this one the best but you know I'm a sucker for the all black. I just I love all of the, the colorways. Ombre on leather is, to me is just chef's kiss. So I think that's it for any other questions that I may not have answered in my review. Um, overall, I just love this bag. I think it's cool to have also an item that is in a, in a color way that may not always be here. And for me, I'm a very neutral, boring person. Um, my shirt obviously is a little out of my comfort zone for, for this conversation, but overall this bag is great i think that if you're thinking about getting a multi pochette or you're kind of like me like should i get the prada re-edition um is it gonna fit my lifestyle do i want a leather bag like this is always gonna be a good option if you're kind of teetering like i was like i said i still like really do love the prada nylon i have a prada nylon backpack but for longevity use and for price i thought this one was a better option for me um, and I just loved the color I love the ampliant leather and I just love the versatility so overall have been loving this bag and it's different options on how to wear it so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys um, if you guys have any other questions you can always find me on Instagram at decor and designer super responsive on there if you guys want me to do a more like in-depth comparison video on this in the Pasha Accessoire, let me know. But I wanted to make sure I filmed this for you as soon as I could talk normally again. And I'm so happy I have this bag. I love it. And I hope it was helpful. So as always, I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.